Hello, and welcome to the technical video, How to Enroll an OpenGear Node into Lighthouse. I'm Jack Zalewski, Senior Sales Engineer with OpenGear, and I'm here to demonstrate how to add an OpenGear appliance into your Lighthouse management software. This is known as a global enrollment. For the purposes of this video, I'll assume that you have access to Lighthouse software and an OpenGear node, and are familiar with the basic navigation of the GUIs, or GUIs. In the case of the appliances, I'll be working with the GUI found in the OM1200, 2200, and CM8100 series of devices. All right, let's begin by setting up enrollment capabilities in Lighthouse. This is the dashboard view of Lighthouse when you log in. In the left-hand column, the menu, I'm gonna expand the configure menu, then the node enrollment menu, and finally select the enrollment settings. We're now presented with a simple page with one field entitled enrollment token. This field will either contain a token or if it's missing one, you can enter a value. This token is used by OpenGear appliances when, when they request to be enrolled into Lighthouse. It's called the secret sh handshake. In this demo, I'll use something very simple, but you're free to use a much more complex token. So let's enter it here into the token field and apply it by clicking on apply. Now, along with the enrollment token, there's one other piece of information that we required for the appliances enrollment request. The IP address of the primary Lighthouse instance. I'll copy it in the URL and save it for the next step. Now, let's log into the node that will be enrolled. In this case, it's an OM1208. However, other OM models and the CM8100s will all present the same type of user interface. In the left-hand column menu, I'll expand the configure menu and then select the Lighthouse enrollment item, which will present the enrollment page. On the far right is an add enrollment icon. We'll click on that. We'll go to the next page. This presents us with four fields, two of which are of interest to us in this video. In the first one, we're going to enter the Lighthouse address. This is the address of the Lighthouse instance we're using. And this is the, the uh, address we copied from the previous URL. And now I'll enter the token value that we, uh, that we created in Lighthouse. So what about the two remaining fields, you may ask? Well, the port number in most cases is the default port 443. So there isn't a need to enter it. Now, Lighthouse can be deployed using other values. However, that discussion is beyond the scope of this video. So we're gonna leave this blank. Also, there's the enrollment bundle field. Now, this, this field will be discussed in a subsequent video. So in this case, I will also leave it blank. Finally, with the address and token entered, let's go to the lower right of the page and click apply. This will launch the enrollment request. The node has sent its request to Lighthouse and is waiting for the enrollment to be approved. This page shows that the enrollment is in progress. And once completed, it will then change and show that there is a relationship that exists between the device and the Lighthouse instance. We're almost done. Let's go back to the Lighthouse GUI and refresh the dashboard screen. The screen now shows that the current node status ring has now an additional yellow arc on it with the word pending next to it and number one. Basically, the Lighthouse is telling you that a request came in and is waiting for someone to approve it. I'll click on the yellow arc, which will take us to the pending nodes page. This is where the request is verified and the approval granted if everything is correct. You can verify information such as the name of the node, MAC address, as well as public, the public or private IP address of the network interface of the node. Also, you can expand this to show more details, you can show, which can show you the model number, the firmware version, and uh, probably most importantly, the serial number of the box. If everything checks out, if everything looks good as the way you expect it, you can approve the node for enrollment by clicking on the check mark on the right side. Or if there is something wrong, you can reject the enrollment request by clicking on the garbage can instead. In this case, everything looks good, and I'll approve the no enrollment. You can now monitor the progress of the enrollment on the same page, or you can go to the dashboard and await the completion of the enrollment. You may have to refresh the page a few times. That yellow arc disappeared, and the green arc 
has now been expanded to show six devices. The node has been enrolled. Also, if you look at the bottom of the page, at the bottom of the list, you'll see that the node has been added here as well. I hope that you found this helpful. Please come back and visit our library of technical instructional videos for other useful configuration tips and tricks. I'm Jack Zalewski, Senior Sales Engineer for Opengear. Thank you for your interest in the Opengear product line.